today I'm showing how you can organise and display your Disney pins. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi if you're new, I'm Lydia and today I'm going to be sharing another pin video for you guys because I love doing these types of videos. I've got some really interesting ideas of what you can do if you're stuck uh, with how to display or organise your Disney pins, some cool and fun ways and I've also got some DIY projects as well that you can do that I've actually done myself and I think they work really really well for displaying pins, especially Disney pins. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about are obviously Obviously pin boards, I feel like they're the ones that people mostly use to display their pins. You can get some really cool like different pin boards and I think it's such a great way to display your pins as well, especially if you've got some kind of blank space. I had this massive blank space um, above my dresser and for so long I didn't really know what I wanted to put there but I'm really glad that I started this kind of pin wall and yeah you can get different sizes of uh, pin boards, you can get different shapes as well which I'm going to talk about. I just think it's such a classic way to display your pins and it's also a really good way to organise them as well especially if you've got quite a few collections like me so I'm going to talk about the pin boards that I've got behind me um, but I'm also going to link some different Etsy shops or different websites that you can get uh, pin boards from and um, because I feel like some of these pin boards that I've got here you probably can't find anymore check the description box below for some pin board links uh, like Etsy shops and websites this is my first pin board that I bought in 2017 um, it's like a rectangular shape it is quite small like compared to this one one up here which I'll talk about in a little bit but this one was perfect for my first pins um, back in 2017 I didn't have that many and it was also rose gold as well it's got a rose gold like border and then it's also got like some rose gold stars um, stamped on the cork board itself which obviously you can't really see when you've got um, pins on um, but it's still really really nice and really pretty and I love rose gold. I got that pin board from New Look it's like a retail store um, in the UK and they do obviously like clothing um, and accessories but they also do home stuff as well and I managed to find this pin board for like eight pounds look in your retail stores um, especially ones that have like home sections because you never know what you can find especially like with really cute uh, pin boards like this one the next one I'm going to talk about is this one right here I got this one last year I think um, and it's a square shape it's a lot bigger than this first one um, which is really what I needed because my collection has grown quite a lot over the past few years that one I got from Tesco which is a supermarket in the UK if you don't know for five pounds which is amazing considering that I got this small one for eight pounds I would definitely recommend looking at Tesco or like uh, your local supermarkets but I really like this square one it's great for your bigger pins um, it doesn't have a border like the new look one does um, but it's quite thick as well which I really really like um, because the new look one is kind of thin and the backs of the pins sometimes poke through. So those are my two main pin boards but then I also have if you can see two circular boards behind me that are actually a DIY project that I did I think last year. I kind of just got this idea spontaneously and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So these cork boards are actually coasters um, for you know drinks or for your meal or you know whatever you want um, in your kitchen and I thought they'd be a really cool idea to display Disney pins. Um, they are obviously a lot smaller than my other pin boards but they're great for your smaller collections. If you want to see all of my pins I do have my pin collection video so I will leave that card up above if you want to check that out. But yeah this is great for just little collections and it kind of switches it up a little bit on my wall and also I like how these circular ones like filled in that blank space um, behind me. I've got those cork boards from the range but I can't remember how much they were but they were probably fairly cheap um, and they came in a pack of four and I actually stuck four coasters together because the cork is thin because obviously they're only meant to be used for like coasters and it'll be a little bit more sturdy to actually hold the pins in place as well so I just stuck them together like layer by layer with super glue and then each layer that I stuck onto the previous layer I just uh, put like pegs uh, pegs that you can use for like your washing outside I just put them around the outside of the cork board so then that they would um, hold in place when the glue is like setting and I left them overnight for like 48 hours 
hours just to be certain that they were like completely stuck together and once I finished it I had like a thick piece of uh, cork and then I put two command strips uh, like on either ends of the cork and then just stuck them to my wall and there we go that is like the finished product now that I've talked about pin boards I'm gonna go on to pin flags so this pin flag is massive and my mum actually made it for me so this is another DIY project that you can do we just use a tote bag that we didn't want anymore and then some like a wooden uh, doweling is that what it's called uh, like a wooden like stick to put on the top of the pin flag so then I can um, use string to attach it to the hook that is um, on the wall and it is a double layer so that means that they're not scraping against the wall and they're like thick enough to actually hold the pins I did look up a guide on Google there are loads that pop up to help you uh, make your pin flag you can also find really cool pin flags on Etsy as well so I'll leave some links down below um, of where you can find them because yeah supporting small shops is an amazing thing to do and some of these pin flags are absolutely amazing but yeah my mum made me that pin flag I get lots of questions about it um, she's the best and yeah she just did it like in her free time and it didn't take that long to do either now that I've discussed ways that you can display and organize your pins on the wall I'm gonna discuss like some other cute little ways in case you don't want to use up your wall space or you don't have any room on your walls you can organize your pins in pin books I personally haven't done this because I've decided to display them on the wall but I know a lot of people that organize their pins in this way and they're really 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 cute and you can still like keep your collections together it's great as well if you have like a massive amount of pins um, and if you don't have like enough wall space um, for like your massive pin collection then pin books are the way to go so you can get official Disney pin books I will put some photos on screen now and um, so you can see what they look like you can get them in the parks um, they have also like folders as well that you can buy on eBay apparently they are like quite expensive though but I suppose if you're getting into pins and you don't want to have them on the wall probably is like a good investment um, to have like a pin book or like a pin folder or even a pin bag so then you can take the pins around with you when you go to the parks or if you're into pin trading it's a really nice way to uh, just house your pins and then the final way to display slash organize your pins are on pin lanyards so I have used these in the past before I got my first pin board um, I just had my pins on a lanyard and and I just had it at the end of my bed on like my bed post. Um, probably isn't the best way to organize and display your pins. But if you've got a really small collection, um, it still is a really nice way to have your pins like on a little Disney lanyard. You can get these lanyards on eBay or um, in Facebook pin groups, that type of thing. You can also obviously get them in the parks as well and you can get loads of different pin lanyards, um, loads of different designs and colors. Obviously now that my collection collection has got bigger I don't display them on my lanyards anymore but I do take a lanyard with me when I go to the parks in case I want a pin tray or just as like a decorative like piece uh, for my outfit maybe just so that I can like show off some of my pins that's also a great way if you want to wear your Disney pins or if you are looking to trade in the parks um, it's a nice way to have like your pins on a lanyard and then you can just easily like take them off and trade with people or trade with cast members Members. I definitely would like to get some more pin lanyards because I think I only have like one proper Disney one and that is from like 2006 um, when we went to Walt Disney World the first time so it's very very old and I don't want to take that to the parks because you know I don't want to get it uh, ruined or damaged if I do go to the parks with a lanyard I just take like a plain black one so yeah that's it there are some really cool and different ways to display and organize your pins whether you've got a small collection or or you've got a big collection let me know down below how you display or organize your Disney pins um, I would love to know how you do it I hope this has been helpful for anyone who is trying to display their pins and doesn't really know like what to do or where to start or even if you want like some different ideas on how to display and organize your pins so that is it for this video I really hope you enjoyed watching I absolutely love doing pin videos like this so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well I will see you in my next video bye